There he is. There he is, the strongest jaw in Hollywood. What a great jaw. Thank you. Do you like to do that in the mirror in the morning? Do you look at yourself and look at your profile and say, yeah? This takes, uh, this is like six or seven hours in the chair to put this on every morning. <laughs> you know, I was just watching that clip, though. You know, I, I'm one of the few people who never, I think maybe I'm one of the few people left, I've never smoked marijuana in my life. Oh, really? Not once. I, I... Uh, is, anybody, is there anybody? Wait, wait, is there anybody? You know, if you never smoke marijuana in your life, just clap your hands. Yeah. That's good. And you notice, you notice how they clap their hands? It was kind of just very, not rhythmical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. I'm proud of you for that. You, you're kind of clean cut that way, aren't you? I, I no, I'm not you. clean cut. Okay. No, I'm not clean cut. You, you, you drink I'm like a carnival little. trash. Oh. You know what I mean? Why is that? I don't know. It's like carnival. Would you think a carnival trash is like clean cut, decent? I'm not somebody you'd want to have babysit or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. It's like, well, I know I never did any drugs. I'll be fine to take care of your daughter. Oh, uh, okay. I see. I see. You know. Okay. Now, th this show. Wait. Don't pull the guitar. I'm yeah. just looking at the it's guitar. There. It's right There's there. There's a guitar there. Maybe we'll get you to play something, I hope. <clears throat> but this show, your show is on Showtime, and apparently the critics love it and you get good ratings. At least, at least for Showtime, they're good ratings, right? Yeah, it's like I think it's like I think Showtime is uh, Showtime is actually it's got. They said that at one point, both people were watching our show. Wow! You see? Uh, and and let me say something else. We have puppets on our show too. Do you? A lot of the other shows, you know, like you see other shows, Sex and the City and stuff like that. They have a good plot line and good actors and stuff. You don't hardly ever see puppets you on the show. You have puppets. Sometimes we have puppets. You, it's not all the time. You gotta watch. <laughs> your show, you're up for a Television Critics Award <clears throat> for yeah. comedy. Yeah, and you know how prestigious those are. Well, Ray Romano, Ray Romano is up for it. So does that mean? Are you, what are your chances? You know, I think it's just fantastic that that, uh, that Ray Romano and I are both up for an award, and the and the, I think it's great that they've nominated him for something because a lot of times, people they don't. They, like, Ray Romano is a great guy, and the fact that the, there was a fire or the kids were involved or something like that, I think that's good that they're putting that behind, and that they're just willing to give him a shot at that award. Oh, you smear, man. You're smearing Ray Romano. No, no. no. Come on. I just say it in a good way. Look, everybody who hasn't, you know, drank and, dr you know, driven their car once or something done, no, good. Wow. An ugly side. Of, you're so competitive. I would An even say... An ugly side of Chris uh, Isaac. From what I've heard, the gun wasn't even registered. Whoa! Uh, all right. Hey. Now, in your in your show, your little there's show... There's good people. There's, actually, there's there's good people. Who I don't know who else is. I just said Ray Romano. I said he's not going to well, win. Isaac's that? not going to win. Who's Ray the guy Romano? who's always in rehab? What's uh, you know what I'm talking about? Don't reach for your guitar yet. No, the guy, I'm, they got water back I don't know who's in rehab. That's half of Hollywood. How, who am I supposed to know? Come on. He was, on, he was like on a TV show, and then he goes back in. And oh, he... yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah well, he's up for it. He's a, but he's, it's a funny he's man. Like, he's just a lot funnier than I am. He's yeah. a better actor. Yeah. Well, we know that. They're just, this is a nice courtesy. Well, he gets more money, too. This is a courtesy See? thing to kind of encourage you and help Showtime. So. Actually, I, I, from what I heard, they, you know, they nominate me. Yeah. They, say, they do that thing. They go, they nominate you, and then they go, could you bring your guitar? Uh -huh. So you have to perform while yeah, you're there. Yeah, it's like you know I have to. As long as I you have can. to, I got to perform. Then afterwards, they you know that starts with the, that, and then afterwards they make you hang out. You got to clean off the tables. You got to bust. See? <laughs> Let me ask you something. There's a you actually use your real life in this show, and and there was a woman who was doing something crazy in, in the adjacent window in your hotel. Is that right? Yeah. Is. It's a, explain that to them. I think you know, it's fascinating. Just, no, it's just that every time I explain the story, people look at you and they just go. That didn't really happen. It did happen. I, it's, I was doing a movie, uh, Little Buddha, and this is years ago, and I'm in Seattle. One of the great movies of I, all time. I check in. <laughs> it was good. It, car chase like bullet. The mm. bullet on a part when you, of the bullet. When you yeah, when you hear about when the car chases, you, you think, think Berlucci car chase. What was the movie called again? What was your movie called? <laughs> I wanted to say it. What's it called? Little Buddha. Little Buddha, right. Okay, go ahead. So you're, filming the, you, man. so you're filming the movie. What happened? All of a sudden, I feel like I'm in a cell with you. Right. I just keep it like this with you. Go ahead. What tell, are you in for, exactly? Tell the story. Oh, tell the story. Anyway, 
So I get every day, like I work on this film, and after the film, I go back to my hotel room, and I'm, you know, whatever do, you're doing in a hotel room. And I look across; they have like this little corridor in this old mm -hmm. hotel, and I look at the window across the way, and there's this woman over there, and she's, she starts taking her clothes off. And she was like, you know, every day she would be over there. This not once, but like, she took her clothes off, and she was kind of dancing naked. Now wait a sec. Is it, she does not pull the curtain down. No, the curtain's does like she, way up. Does she think you're watching? Does she is she putting on a show for Chris Isaac? I don't know. Okay. No, but that, you know, she was just dancing naked, so like I would just I was kinda watching. Yeah. And <laughs> you know. And I I only say that, you know, from a safety standpoint, I was watching. And once the, you know, they she could slip, hurt. hurt herself. Anyway, yeah. I'm looking and I think, and I'm thinking, wow, this is great. I got this great room and she's dancing. Hey, she doesn't see me. Pretty cool. But you know, it's like when they, she did it every day. Uh -huh. And like the second day, I thought, she's gonna like look over here and then she's gonna go, oh, this guy's been over there watching me. It's gonna be embarrassing. So like, I kind of leave the lights on in my place and I put the TV on. Oh yeah. Like you can That'll see stop a people live in here. Yeah, yeah. And then I would see this woman. She worked with me. On, on the movie. She was on the movie, and every day I'd see her walking around on the movie set, she was like all dressed, you know, like dads and lads, real stay pressed slacks, kind of yeah. straight looking, yeah. all American, and she's handing out checks and stuff, and I thought, does she know that I'm seeing her naked every yeah. night? Because she was not giving me, it wasn't like she was giving me any kind of vibe during the right. day, like, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah, doing? yeah. And, and it went on for a month. Well, how does this end? Does this have an ending? I'm interested. I lost track of her, and then the, the next thing I saw was she was running for the state senate in New York, and she <laughs> won. No, it's a, he's kidding. He's a funny. He's singing. He's kidding. Um, so anyway, we're gonna play five questions of music from Chris Isaac when we come back.